All right, welcome to the game of Active Directory version two. This is part two of the video. So in this video, all that we're going to see is just to watch the progress as each computer, there are five virtual computers that are going to be set up in this lab. We're just going to watch as each uh, virtual computer is provisioned and then come on stream. We are also going to see in this terminal over here that I've put over here, we are going to run HTOP because um, when I did it, I w was curious as to how much RAM is each virtual um, computer costing the entire system. Remember, I only have 24 gigs of RAM on the system and I wanted to be able to show as each computer comes on stream, as each computer is provisioned, what is the impact of the RAM. So you're going to be able to watch that over here. All right, just like we did in the part one video, I'm simply going to be playing back the video that I had already recorded as I was uh, setting up the um, the uh, the lab. Okay, so here we go. I'm just gonna press the play button. So you see me adding uh, two things. Let me just pause. Uh, uh, in the last video, um, the last thing that we installed was Ansible. So that window is simply resized and it's being put on the top left corner. Top right corner is the new terminal. As I explained earlier, that's where I'm going to be running HTOP. And then I started virtual, um, virtual box. You remember uh, the first step of these uh, installation instructions was to install virtual box. And this is the virtual box uh, starting up. So as I run the command vagrant up and as each computer is being provisioned here, you'll see it come on stream. All right, here we go. There's HTOP running. So before anything, let me just pause here. Before um, the provisioning starts, we already see that um, uh, two, uh, two and a half gigs of nearly 24 gigs is being utilized. But as I said, as each computer comes on stream over, over here, you're going to see that figure go up. So here we go. We're going to go vagrant up and then start the provision process. Nothing much happens in this part apart from the um, provisioning of the boxes. So in between the silence there, I might just grab some um, open source royalty free background music going but we'll see how it goes so here we see um, the, the part that is very interesting to me we see a uh, vagrant trying to look in the local cache whether this particular box has already been downloaded it doesn't find it as you can see, they could not find this particular box and therefore it goes straight to the cloud to go and download that particular box that is going to be provisioned. This is a full URL of the box that is going to um, provision. But first it's going to download and just as before, I'm going to be using some trickery to fast forward that part just so as to make this uh, video as sm as short as possible. So uh, here we go. I think I accelerate as it reaches 10 megabits per second. 
10 megabytes per second. There we go, that is accelerating. Perfect, that part has been downloaded. Now it's being imported. There you go. There's the first box being provisioned right now. And it starts. I'm still fast forwarding. Here we go. Second box is coming on stream. Now fetching the third box. As soon as I hit the turn, I fast forward. There you go. You can see the RAM is already increasing over there. So as the third box gets provisioned, that should go up to 12, I believe. Here we go. That box is starting now with 12. Now it's downloading server 02. As it hits 10, I hit fast forward. There you go. There you go. Server 02 coming on stream and we'll be jumping to 15. And now Vagrant is fetching the last box to provision. As soon as it reaches 10, it hits fast forward. There we go. Yeah, there we go. As I said, nothing much ever goes on into this part of the video. It's just the downloading of the it's just the downloading of the boxes and then that box is being provisioned and then we'll watch as the RAM goes up. So here we go. Fifth box is being imported and the machine is up and there we go, the RAM is sitting up there to 18 gigs. So that's it, there's nothing much. All of the boxes have been provisioned and um, we are going to stop here and then we're going to proceed to part three. This is where the fun begins. This is where we begin to play the uh, Ansible playbooks where things such as vulnerabilities things such as um, OUs get created, usernames get created, and all the fun stuff, okay? Thank you for watching so far. See you on part three. Thank you.